What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, it's been a minute since I've been on my YouTube channel. I've been so busy with other stuff. I promised myself that I was gonna try to post like two or three times a week and then I went out of town for like two weeks straight so anyways I'm back now so we're back at it and we're about to do another video and as you can see today we are outside because my room has some weird lighting going on today so you might hear some cars there's a main street right behind these trees but it's okay, whatever. We're just going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Okay, so today I'm doing my top 10 pet peeves. Everybody got pet peeves. Even if you like to admit it or not, you got pet peeves. And today I'm going to tell you guys mine. I have way more than 10. My list is actually pretty long, my pet peeves. But I was like, I think 10 is, 10 is enough. All right, so let's just, let's just dive right on in. <laughs> number one I don't I hate when people ride their bikes in the street like well okay I hate people ride their bikes in the street when they're next to a sidewalk like you not you're not a car like you're you're not a car and especially when it's at night and they don't have no lights on like do you want me to hit you it's confusing it happened to me the other day and the dude on his bike bro his legs were going so fast and he was going nowhere and it was like dude like bye pet peeve number two i hate when people are on snapchat and the, every snap they take or every other snap is like hit me up tap in what's what's the move hit me up hit my line bang my line who's trying to talk give me some talk i'm like if you have to keep posting that every hour or so and no one has hit you up yet sis you you gotta stop like they not gonna text you if they wanted to text you they would they would have texted you by now and they haven't like you know what I'm, like it's just like we we get it you want somebody to talk to but find somewhere else because i guess snapchat's not the place for you but i just i hate when people are doing that and like oh nobody wanna hit me up cool You're like yeah, yeah, we don't we really don't pet peeve number three <laughs> okay everyone has knows that one person that talks and talks about their own problems like they're just on and on and on about their own problems and then when it's you know when it's the conversation starts to die like okay well now i can bring my own problems up and you can help me with my problems and as soon as you bring your problem up they're like oh my god yesterday and i'm like wait 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 it's my turn we're taking turns and now it's my turn i don't like when people do that makes me not want to help you with your with your issues if you can't even help me with my own issues pet peeve number four when people say no offense in like every sentence. When people, when people say no offense at all, like if you have to say no offense, then maybe you shouldn't say it. Message. I'm just saying. Pet peeve number five. When people reach over you and they don't say excuse me. And I'm not talking about like at the dinner table or nothing cause I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like if you at the grocery store, right? And let's say there's some like nail polishes right here. You looking at it, you're like, ooh, this is cute. And then somebody's like reaching over you like that. And I, I, I'm the kind of person where I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna just stand there like, I'm not gonna move. So I'm gonna need you to figure out where your manners at and say, excuse me, and then maybe I'll move. Or you could just wait till I leave. Like you can't, why are you all in my personal bubble? Like I just don't like people in my personal bubble. Pet peeve number six. Well, people invite me places because they feel like they have to invite me places. I am not a charity case. If you, you don't have to invite me places just because you feel bad or because I was just there. Let me tell y'all this. Okay, so there was this one time. There was this group, I'm not gonna say no names. 
But there was this group of people. They were talking or whatever. They were making a little plan to go somewhere. And I, I knew they were talking about going somewhere, but I was like, I didn't really care. So I kind of just like walked past them, and I made eye contact with one of the people that were in the group. And they're like, Oh, well, you know, I mean, promise, you, you can come if you want to come. Like, I mean, if you want to. I don't want to come now. You didn't originally invite me, so why am I coming? Bye. If you, if I wasn't a part of your original group to come, then I don't want to come. Don't invite me because you, you like, oh, maybe we should invite Promise because she's going to be mad if we don't invite her. No, I don't want to come no more. How about that? Pet peeve number seven. Ooh. At my mama, because I know she's going to watch this. Okay, so I have those days where I wake up and I want to be very productive and I want to clean the house and whatever, whatever, whatever. I have those days sometimes where I want to be productive. So sometimes I wake up and I'll go wash the dishes like, oh, I'm about to wash these dishes. I'm off to the come home. She'll be like, oh my God, I'm about to wash the dishes. So I wash the dishes. I think she's going to be all happy. So she, she come home, she be happy or whatever. And then, you know, throughout the day, people eat and they put their dishes in the sink. So I'm like, okay, I'll just do it tomorrow morning. She'll be like, I'm about to ask for you to come wash these dishes. I'm like, but mom, I washed them this morning. I was being productive. She was like, well, is this just in the sink? So I need to do the dishes. And I'm like, you know, I hate when she does that. Cause like, why? Like I was being productive for no reason. I should just never even did the dishes. So now, instead of having to do the dishes one time in a day, now I gotta do them twice in a day. I do it. So for all my dishwashers out there, don't ever try that. Don't ever try to wash the dishes in, in the morning because you're going to have to do them twice in the day. Pet peeve number eight, stomach fluctuation. I don't know if that's the right word. It sounds like it's not the right word. Okay, but I know you girls know what I'm talking about. So you get dressed in the morning and you got your high-waisted jeans on and your crop top and you in the mirror, you like... You know what I'm talking about? And then you go out with your friends. Let's say y'all go to the mall or something. Y'all get y'all stop and get y'all some five guys and y'all get some ice cream, some 50, uh, ooh, a Frosty from Wendy's or something. And then y'all take a little picture in the mirror at the mall and you're like, oh my goodness. And your stomach is leaking out of your shirt. You be thinking you finna look skinny all day and then all of a sudden, surprise. Like what? I hate when that happens. That always happens to me. So I'm just like, am I fat or am I skinny? To be continued <laughs> pet peeve number nine people that think they can fit down the same aisle that you already own now this happens to me most of the time when I'm at Ross because you know if you I don't know what what all Ross is like but the Ross in my area has like a, it's the aisles are pretty skinny so I'm coming down with myself and my cart and I'm coming down with my, my cart I'm looking on, on the side with my um for clothes or whatever and then another person come on the other side with a cart like how this gonna work we cannot fit through here like why would you come with your like why can't you just wait or come behind me like why would you go head to head with me like huh I'm it's like they don't see me like do you not see me here and then when we finally get to each other we touch and they're like oh excuse me like like they didn't already see this happening like oh I'm so sorry like 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 they didn't know that this is gonna happen don't play dumb sis you know what's popping? Okay, final one. Final pet peeve. Pet peeve, pet peeve, pet peeve number 10. Now, I didn't know this was one of my pet peeves until I moved here. Like, I kind of just didn't think about it. But I hate when people have on, like, black jeans and a black shirt. Like, I hate black on black. Like, it's just like, for some people, it, it goes. But, like, I just... It cringes me. And that's not even that bad. Like, black and black is like, I can deal with it. But I don't like navy blue on with black. Like, if you have on a navy blue shirt and black pants, I'm just like, oh, it just, it makes me cringe. Like, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I just, it's not my thing. I just, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I just, I can't wear, I can't wear it myself. And then when I see other people wearing it, it's just like, what are you doing? Black on black is the worst when the two blacks don't match. Like, oh. Like, I just have like, I'm just like, I feel like SpongeBob when he's like rocking in the corner. That's what I feel like. <laughs> but, yep, that's my final top, that's my final top 10. That is all my pet peeves for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to keep posting videos, but your girl's kind of lazy. This one might not even make it on YouTube. I don't know yet. But thank you for watching my 
video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Matter of fact, comment down below some of your biggest pet peeves and let me know. Maybe we have the same pet peeves. Maybe we don't. I don't know, but we'll see if you just comment down below. Anyways, thanks for watching and everyone have a beautiful day. <laughs>